Anyways, sorry for that. So, we're finally back, and we're gonna do wit more ghost bug. Ghost bug? Go fuck! <laughs> this message has been removed for violating community guidelines. Wait, what? I have community guidelines? Motherfucker, I'm not even supposed to be for kids. Wait, Jenna, Mike. I don't know. I wrote that as fuck. Ass fuck. That wasn't me. Do I have a bot? Uh, gambling. I'm gonna put that. No. Pro profanity and vulgarity. Yeah, I forgot to mention, by the way. Uh, for some reason, Twitch is not allowing me to mark my content as mature. So. Yeah, I've been, I've been figuring out how to do that part. Anyways, no me cookie wrote that. Okay. But yeah, still. Anyways, yeah, we're back with ghost tricks. We're gonna solve this case. The case of our murder. Yeah. Where do we leave off again? Auto save. Manual saves tankly further. So we'll do manual. Right, what were we doing again? Hey, blue boy. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? That telephone call was from the super... Super... Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. Hey, did I tell you guys I might have dyslexia? I don't know, I feel like now's a good time to mention that. <laughs> Ow. Fuck, my head. My god. <laughs> Why am I hiccuping? From the superior's office in the maintenance building. Sorry. And didn't the blue detective say that Lynn was being held in the junkyard superintendent's office? Hurry then! You better get up there quickly. No time to be standing around here talking to the desk lamp. I'm not talking to you. Says the one who's only capable of standing around. Right, 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 right. Now, 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 now. Right, super office. Should we go back to the trouble, man? I weirdly want to go back and see how he's doing. Aww. Yay. Listen. Listen, Lin will be fine. Lin will be fine. I want to fix this guy's marriage. I'll be back in a second. Come on. Electricity. We travel in seconds. Still can't do shit. He still appears to be deeply troubled. You're gonna get her killed for James. We can rewind time! Don't worry about it. Why you worry about it? Why you why you worry about everything? Why you bullying me? Anyway. Oh, okay. Um if he doesn't have any work to do, why doesn't he just go home and and go to bed because his wife is missing come on put two and two together sizzle sizzle maybe the fact he doesn't have any work to do is what has him deeply troubled not marital not a marital dispute no it possibly couldn't be that sizzle you're a con man probably maybe come on be better actually he could have been a detective no no, they would have mentioned if he was also a detective. I have quite a bit of uh, work to do myself. Don't know which of us is in a more... In... Uh, in... Listen. It's not my fault. I was born like this. I can't read! Enviable. Okay. Enviable situation, though. Yeah, we shouldn't even be here. Still can't do shit? Still can't do shit. Fine. Fine, we'll go save Lynn. She's probably fine. Come on. Oh, boring. You know that? Yet another gunshot ring down the lonely junkyard, one on the edge of town. A 
sound gives me the feeling of new death away from the other side of the line. And bad she's dead again, probably. She might be fine. Apparently I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. A little greedy, my man, but sure. Give me a sec. Sorry, phone call. Anyways, wait, that was a chapter? Oh man, last time we could have just went on for a little while longer. Ah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That one's on us, I didn't know. Okay, chapter four. Yeah. 8 p.m. I actually think I might be able to finish this game in like two more streams, I best. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. <laughs> the scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected. All except for one thing. Glenn's not dead? Oh. Ah, fuck, is this guy. <laughs> no! Lynn! Hang in there, baby! <laughs> I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> you know what? At least he's nice. Who the fuck are you, Rhino? It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Ah, oh, fuck, it's the Cypher. Here, let me take a look at him. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, Pigeon Man. I investigated and you, super intent. You have your job, I have mine. Should you be taking this a little more seriously? One of your own got shot. Let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? You are a dumbass. Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? Oi! Anyways, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. Your nice, greasy, yet smooth hair. Bitch. I don't know, I feel like we should be taking this situation a little more seriously. Given, uh, you know, everything that just happened, you know, someone's dead! Someone was just killed. What? Ah, you're the killer. Fuck! What took you so long? Quit dragging your feet! Oh, wait. Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. She really sucks at this. There's something weirdly ominous about this man, I don't know. Ooh. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. What's up with this? Uh, blinding pink notebook. Nobody stuck it behind the bookcase at a uh, hazard. Haphazard. Half, oh my. Haphazard angle. Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up. Wait, we can't get up. What? Ah! Uh. I'm not fucking around. I might be fucking around. This must be a basement. There's that old man from before. I can't see very well with this dark hands, but it looks like a pretty strange room. But never mind this, I better go see the later. No. You bitch. Oh shit, so that means like we might have the ability to uh go into multiple rooms later on. Will she be alive this time? I mean will she be conscious this time? Unconscious this time as well, huh? Yeah. Where am I? Okay, she's she's awake. Hey! Yeah. Huh. She's coming too. What, what happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm uh, still not used to talking with dead people, see. Dead? 
so I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. To stare, to start to remember, to remind me of me. Who am I? Everyone seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective <laughs> description, but yes, that kind of detective. <laughs> I don't know about upholding law, personally, but, uh, yeah, you run, walk around with a gun. You remember? Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose! What the fuck?! What? Huh? Huh? Wait, what? Uh, wait, hold on, what? I don't know, no, what? Okay, what? Hmm. But I went, I entered, I entered Lin's body, right? I entered Lin? 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 <laughs> it's the fucking other detective, head detective. It's our down boy. Our Elvis Presley. Ah, uh, I was gonna say he he, but that's wrong. <laughs> Something really unusual is going down in the city tonight, baby. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. No, I'm saying who was the other guy. If he's dead. He oh, shit, I just thought about that. Wait, yeah, hold up. If he's the dead guy, who the fuck is lit? Who is the detective? What do you... Maybe we should have waited till he examined the body first. Eh... That's not your face, you know. Take another look, you're the dead one. Uh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. Confusing is more like it. There we go, you dumbass. There, now this is more like it. Did you really think you were someone else? Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Yeah. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, uh, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me! Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. You know what? Yeah, this is probably lit. <laughs> Imagine being so brain dead that you think you're someone else. Move chat, by the way. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Up here? Good. Good. Okay. I think it's because I'm dead. Yeah, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. Well, actually, technically you can't, but I've got some things to ask you about. I mean, she won't remember her death. That she'll remember me, but eh, long shot. I'm looking for the answers to the question. Who am I? And why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is my name is Sissel. You know, like when you burn something. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyways. I think we're Italian, by the way. I think we're in Italy. I don't know why. Something about the design reminds me a bit of Italy, right? Or just Europe in general. I don't think we're in Japan. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you might at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. I'm in a junkyard? Hmm. Yeah, uh, buddy, she's not gonna remember shit, sorry. Yeah, well, wait, shit is. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it, I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry, I don't think I can help you. Why not? Cause I don't know you. What? Why were you there then? Oh, she probably got a lead. Yeah, she probably got a lead and it led her to us. The lead probably was even fake to try to get her, like to kill two birds with one stone. What? What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. He was dead for more than a day also. Was he? 
I don't know. I, it's by the sounds of it, like rules and all that. I feel like he's was killed that night because remember the rule is tomorrow morning they disappear. So it had to have been the same day. I just don't think he can rewind himself. Is all because he's the one with the power. I don't know why. Or he's been. I don't know. Actually, why couldn't he rewind himself? That might become a plot hole, plot point later. No, I said I remember something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. Lynn. Are you saying you don't remember in general? or? <laughs> she's a... She's... She's... She's a nice person. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. No way. Okay. Okay, so do you know anything about... So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm, I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test, finally this... You do remember shit! Wait, hold on. Okay, so she does have her memory back. Or, starting to get her memory back. Wait, so you're a fresh detective? My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me! Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? I mean, that's sometimes a job. Poor kid, the shock is set again. <coughs> and so I told her everything that happened tonight about the ghost tricks, possession, and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. Why haven't you done that yet? I'm investigating you. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed. Uh, once before tonight. If this keeps up, you'll be killed five more times. And you saved me? Oh, uh, that's right. You don't remember? Oh. Oh, wait, so she kind of remembers that? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Well, I thought they'd have to come with you. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed in all black. Okay, so they are blue. It's not just like a color design choice. I guess this means that even if a dead, if a death is a race, a memory of it remains. Does that, is that like a weird way to explain deja vu? <laughs> or like, you ever had like, okay, uh, side tangent. You ever had like uh, a weird ass dream that feels very real? And, like, it's very vague or blurry or something like that. But, like, it feels like, you know, you're doing something very specific. And then a few days later, or even months later, hell, even a year later, it feels like that dream had came true. Like, you're, like, a prophetic dream. Do you think that's what this is? So, it is the Blue Man crew. Yeah, 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 no, I wasn't joking. I was right. Okay, so that's actually very interesting. How many times is this woman gonna die? So I died twice already tonight. <laughs> yeah, Lynn, you kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Suck. At this job. Sorry. I don't mean to be mean, but yeah. You kind of have a really bad track record. Sorry. Don't worry. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll have to wait until she recovers. <laughs> well, that was quick. Yeah, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? This is not a good thing! Lynn! 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 Sweetie! Sweetie! Stop! No! <laughs> she has no brain cells. My god. Okay. Well, but at least she's happy. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. Yeah, I do not know what we got ourselves into either, Sissel. <coughs> okay, so Sissel and us are two strangers, and she has no memory of us. Or experience with us. Which means the only reason why she'd go down there was either because of an investigation, which is probably in a case that she's in, or she was tipped off to come here. And it was probably a trap, right? That's what uh, we're all gathering from this? That's what I gathered. So you don't know me, huh? 
Nope, wish I did. So, do you suppose we're just two strangers who happen to meet tonight? There has to be more, right? No way, I don't think it was an it, it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? Exactly! You don't remember the reason why you came here? I was asked to come here to- Oh, shit! So I was right about the tip. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess uh, where this is going? You're kidding, you mean- Bingo! By you- Oh, shit! We're the tip! Damn! Actually, that's a very interesting plot twist. Okay, so we led us to both our deaths. Got it. <laughs> well, Sissel, you got me. I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was gonna ask you. I don't have member. Why'd you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Yeah. Everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Lynn. I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have to ask a favor. Nah, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. Probably. You will. No, no, if we try her enough, she will. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed. Mm. I'm really sorry. Really? But I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now. That's uh, that's the state of life for you in general, isn't it? <sighs> but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. Did we kill her dad or something like that? It feels like we're going that route. <laughs> so even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to a person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's the bad. I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. But no compensation? Even though I probably won't be able to help you. You what? Do the Dios de los Muertos thing. Uh, leave, uh, some... leave a meal for me at my grave, at least. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. Yeah, it's way more than that, but something like that. But I still want to solve the case, in spite of all that. Am I out of line? To be fair, Cecil, you also are kind of being selfish about this too. So, I guess it weirdly makes you even. Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not gonna treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. <coughs> Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Hold on tight! It's gonna be a little bummer. Does anyone else see a goat's head whenever the clock forms? Or am I hallucinating? Four minutes before death. Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite, re rewrite Jesus, fuck, her death. Faced with those circumstances, she sh uh, could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. She's honest. Maybe a little too Oh, that? You're the one who put the notebook away. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. 
Really? That was... Whatever. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, um... Yeah! I was hungry, so I tried to get something delivered. Yeah, sure, you know what? That's actually not the worst lie you could have made. What? Don't do that! <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. You should... You should leave jobs like that to me. Is Chicken alright? Oh, at least he's okay. Decent. Oh, uh... One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. What? Lynn, that's more suspicious! Okay. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Oh, no. Inspector Cabanella, yeah, that's the detective guy, is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Hey, baby. Evening, patrolman. Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Good, nice work. Now, do me a favor and take a little patrol around the outside, would you? He might be the sniper. That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. I don't know if Cabanello is a bad guy, honestly. But at the same time, I could see him being a bad guy. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanello, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigations Unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my limb's in trouble? No, in crisis. Let me guess. Uh, actually, now nah, I'll do all that later. I appreciate it, sir. What fucking pickle did you get yourself into? Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspect of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit. I have a name! <laughs> I mean, I never even met that guy before. Never, baby? Oh, well, uh... Not face to face. Before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had uh, important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me! I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. And I didn't see you list that, you know, list that has involved on any big cases. Um. <sighs> Sneaking around, eh? <laughs> you know, I don't uh, suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot to anybody. Hey, who knows? You're better than me, baby. You know, if anything ever happens to you, happen to you. I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Let me guess, her dad. Inspector Cabanella, I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> yeah? And what's that? I want to add, I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? Why is everyone so fucking vague? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Uh, all I know for sure, okay, so, so far all we know for sure is we were connected to something about a big case that Lynn has pr emotional and personal connections to. She's a fresh new detective. Um, we contacted her. We never met her before. Uh, we were assassinated by an organization that clearly has some money connections. By a bunch of assassins and hitmen that w are blue. It definitely has some connections to an underground syndicate. There's a certain project or drug or something that... And clearly the main villains are in a bunker because whatever is going to happen most likely will not end well even if it goes right. Or but with the potential of it going wrong. I do not know what the fuck's going on, but all I know for sure is a lot of shit's about to happen. Also, fun fact for anyone curious, yeah, the Ace Attorney team worked on this game. So if you ever notice some weird connections or like similarities, yeah. <laughs> 
In fact, that's why missile's named missile. Anyway. Huh? Get down! Wow, you suck! <laughs> you couldn't even protect! <laughs> It seems to me that Baber is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyways, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. Yeah, the sniper guy. Uh, what's it? What's his nickname? I'll look at the records in a second. But the sniper guy. It'd be hard to prevent a bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try, our four minute game. I'm gonna gamble with your life! <laughs> Nothing you can do. But... Oh yeah, don't freak out. You know what? I have an idea. That guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun. The Ace Attorney team makes real bangers, honestly. We need to get, be giving them more money. I only know them for Ace Attorney. Have they made other games? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Fun, she says with eyes gleaming. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's prevent my, my murder in the most hilarious way possible. <coughs> you can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right. I can, uh, no, and I know the telephone number to the backyard uh, payphone too. I don't want to get shot again. You know the... You know what they say about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. Well, the telephone thing is a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. That... You know what? All jokes aside... Not the worst idea. What could this be? Looks like a giant nail clipper? You think so? Do you know what it is? Uh, why did you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away <laughs> evasively? Huh? It's one of those science-y things that scientists use. You really are not the brightest tool in the shed. <laughs> Neither of them know shit. I at least have not Sizzle at least has an excuse. She is a detective. She should know more than me. How fucking low is that bar exam? Or whatever they call it. Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. You're a detective! I don't remember what science is, but it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. <laughs> hey, Miss Detective! What photos? These photos are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rocks? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Meteors? Wait. Is this gonna ha involve space? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. You bit! Ouch, this lady's tongue can be sharp. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one! <laughs> Alien invasion? I don't think it's that, but at the same time... Crap! Come here! Let me in! Oh yeah, by the way, real quickly, before I forget, I just want to know about, uh... Uh... No, not him. Yeah. Here it is! The other hitman. One step ahead, Tango. That's the guy who probably shot us. The guy who looks like Sniper. He looks hella lot like Sniper. Hold up. <laughs> like, look at it a second time. Yeah, he looks just like Sniper. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, right, yeah. Team Fortress 2 didn't pay the bills. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember uh, the food excuse. Damn it, why can't I move now? Oh. No. Let me. Ghost trick. Ah! What's up hit there? What's up with this, uh, mine? We know- Oh, that's mine! Isn't it adorable? Hehe. <laughs> Wait! So you have notes on there! 
Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panic, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? Who are you calling, anyways? It was a uh, personal business. You're dead, you. Okay. I mean, to be fair, this. Not... <laughs> Hello, the chicken <laughs> kitchen. You want the chicken? We got the your chicken. Why not? Let's just invade this guy. Hey, Lynn, I know you're about to die, but you want to go invade a chicken shop? See if we can eat? One chicken tender, please. Would you like to order a uh, fry the chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. Oh. Well. Move to the other location. You know what? We can always rewind time. Go there. <laughs> Lynn right now. Wait, the worst part of all is I feel like Lynn would be happy about this, not realizing how dumb this decision is. Chicken time! Yo, know, the fact that we are given this option makes me feel like this might be the answer. As dumb as it may sound. Hello, where would you like that to leave it? They hung up. La la la, what does it matter? A chicken note or two lost? If it were three orders, that'd be a different story though. La la la, I sleep in a cardboard box. What the fuck am I doing in my life? That's me, nothing. Is now really the. We just popped over here while we had the chance, without much thought. But this isn't where the hitman would try to kill me, is. Clearly, you probably ought to hurt me. Ah! Huh? That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but I... Oh fuck, we can't use a telephone line when a fucking uh, ghost tricks, remember? I mean, when we're back in time, remember? But we can move here. but we came here by the telephone line. Wait, yeah, how did we? Apparently this four minute world before death, we can only use the telephone line while the telephone is being used to make a call. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like uh, we can't go anywhere. I guess we'll have to start over. That felt like a trap, but like honestly, I think we can go back to a chicken store later. I want chicken. No, like that's not a joke. Right now, I want chicken. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, we're ready. Just making sure. Ah! Yeah, yeah, I know. How do you skip forward in dialogue? How's chicken? Wait, hold up. Actually, shit. Wait, shit. That just makes made me realize something. We can't even do Lin's plan because we can't go outside through the phone line. Remember? Shit. Wait, no, shit. Yeah, no, 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 no. You gotta use it while he's calling, I think. That's weird. But no, wouldn't that only lead us to the chicken guy? Hello, the chicken in kitchen. You want the chicken? Yes, you will love chicken. No, 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 we're not making the same mistake twice. There. I do like that though, how like this game will add the equivalent of red herring. Yeah, no sense in going over to the restaurant now. Right, can't eat chicken if I'm dead. That's not what I was talking about. The place we need to be now is outside the junkyard where the headman works. 
And the only way to get there is to use the phone lines. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. That's funny. Yeah. The cell phone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone lines. Did you forget the rule that uh, Ray taught us? Yeah. No, no, no. This... Yeah. <laughs> but I want to stop that criminal. Watch out! Yeah. Fuck! Maybe we have to go down. I don't know. What the fuck? Wait, he was here? The fuck? You can turn on the... No, I can't. Okay. Okay, this one's actually a lot more complicated than I thought. Fuck. Hey, Len. <laughs> Not much to mess around with, actually, huh? I actually have no idea what to do. Should we just let Lynn die so someone could get an idea? Oh, fuck! Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. Oh my... <laughs> I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came... Okay, everyone on, on the force has no brain cells. Got it. Fitting. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her notice. Oh! That's actually... <laughs> Sorry, Lynn, got you in trouble. What's up? Yes! I've been watching Lynn, just like you told me to. And I noticed something suspicious. You did. So Inspector Can Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir! In a very suspicious manner, and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Hmm, let's see. It's pink, and it's a notebook! Smartest minds of the force right here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. God, this brain just le this game just leaves me like like you ever just had to stop and furrow your brow? Not furrow your brow, you get what I mean, like pinch your brow. That's what this game makes me do. A lot. And it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. Come think of it, she was using the phone when I came in, uh, too, and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let Ed on you notice anything. Hey, look at that! The phone is line is glowing red. Ah, I bet it will work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside the, in the junkyard, and that's where that horrible hitman who's after me is, too. Honestly, there's nothing else here anyways. I was about to say, like, maybe there's stuff we can need to investigate. Probably not. Let's go over there and kick his ass. I've been waiting for you. Hey, what are you? A desk lamp that sounds like an old grand- Wait. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so it sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray, sweetie. Grandpa Ray? You just have to get the grandpa part in there there's somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intent of showing us what you really look like, right? He's either going to be an angel or Sissel. Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. <sighs> I heard it way up on the upper... Way up on the upper level. A scant few minutes from now. 
Hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. So look for a man who's blue. The doctor! No, wait. Oh, wait, no. The doctor was actually here. Never mind. All right. I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. What? Why not? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. That was not the time. Anyways, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Why? Here, baby. Carry on, boys. They change. Somewhat. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. No one is. around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. He's probably gonna be blue. And it's... <laughs> there isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find the rats. I'm gonna make a good... I'm, I'm gonna make a uh, good ensure that he understands that what happens to people who... Sh oh my god, I can't read right now, holy shit. I'm gonna make him understand good and hard what happens to people who point guns at others. There's a gleam in her eye, that's absolutely blinding. I'm trying! Oh, what? Does it just want me to search for him right now? Where would he be? Hold up. I think his name is actually Tango, but I guess that doesn't matter. Come on, let's go grind him into pieces! I wish you wouldn't use such violent expression. Besides, I don't see any cores that will get us over there. I think we might have missed our chance already. Timing is everything. Motherfucker! After fate change. Is it gonna be one of those weird ass situations where we gotta go all the way back? Gotta speed run this shit. a weird situation where I gotta play a little extra. Oh, wait. Can we use him? Over here. Oh, shit. We boys. We. 
Yes! Hey, sniper. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman division by next month. No. No, for sure. There he is, the horrible Hitman. I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter right now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. Ah, fuck. Shit. There. We put a stop to that shot at me. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Nope. That changes your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. You gotta stay dead for a while. The Hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really gonna stop him. We gotta kill him. We don't talk about this, but the only answer to keep you safe is to kill people. There is a pile of bodies just for your safety. But don't worry about it. Sleep tight. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Are they going to try to excuse the fact that we've been killing people by saying we were roughing them up? Jojo logic? <laughs> Jotaro bashes someone's head open. They are retired! <laughs> Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. Real question now is which way is he gonna go? The first guy was squashed by a giant ball. Oh, he's definitely dead. You don't know that? Maybe he's slept. Maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he's asleep. Maybe he's fine. Maybe the ball... Wait, I can go on their baton. Huh. Oh, I know what to do. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the little bit of luck. Division ahead is my ambition for this year. Next year, my model will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the slightest bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in the spots where a light's going. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. <laughs> you know what, keep, keep that energy, but keep up. I know what to do. Three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to the electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in plate case to work the headlamp. Wait, what? Did, why do you need to? Also, what the fuck is the budgeting si situation like? Here in America, we fucking glorify our cops. Well. The government glorifies our cops. We do not. You get me. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. If I turn that light off... Oh shit, I could have done that to... Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? It wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Skip the hell out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off. Lay off and don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gone that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much energy power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to we ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Time is passing, and I actually have no idea where, uh... The Django is! Hey, I'm on Teado. Fuck you! We can do this all day! 
Fuck. Look, one of the searchlights went out. Yeah, we already know. There are three lights here all together. Apparently, uh, we can't have all three of them on. Oh, I get it. I gotta find a way to put uh, the last one off, right? Wait, no, 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 get back, get the fuck back here. Bitch. to lay off that thing. I told you it wasn't me. Oh, I think I might know what's going on here. This is the work of, you know. What? Hey, shut up. You're creeping me out. But you know as well as I do. The only explanation for this mission, for mischief like this is Inspector Cavanella! <laughs> the cops here, <laughs> the cops are, I, I'm not even gonna bother. All pass it on like a fucking minor. So they tell tales about him as though he's a ghost. Eh? But Inspector Cabanella is fair is really a very nice person. People think he's me? No offense, honey, but I thought the complete opposite. Don't worry about it. Now go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back now, please. Go back now, please. Go back now, please. Go back now, please. Go back now, please! Fuck! Oh, thank God. Okay, there's gotta be a way to deal with it. Huh, nothing happened. That's funny. I thought this lever was for swinging the crane or I like to swing that horrible hitman around. This train. I wonder if there's some other way to use it. Okay, so me not smart, but me is realizing. Okay, so we're forcing him into a single position, apparently. Wait, first let me call them here. Yeah, 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 talk, 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 talk. Sometimes they don't move or like start acting until like speaking. Seriously, what do they expect from Camel? Like, people actually find him scary? I mean, I'm trying! I have an idea. I knew it. Hmm. This is quite a distance from talking. But I can't work on a spot like after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing but a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, get him! Hold up! When did I become her assistant? So, yay! Oh my fucking god. Uh, uh, I'd love to see them try to spin off the whole entire. He's okay, he's sleeping energy for that. Because that shit was rough. <laughs> 
That man has no bones. He's not alive. No, oh, don't worry, Sissel. He'll wake up. No, no, you snapped his neck in half. His head is not even on his body anymore. Do you not understand what death is? For a pro tag, he has a bigger kill count than literally any of the assassins. To be fair, we actually don't really know of their kill count. To be fair. But still. <laughs> Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloomy... <laughs> for our gloom-loving hitman. <laughs> He'll be nice and comfy in hell. I think your death has just been erased again. Why are we not talking... <laughs> a dark spot being held. Why not, I wonder. Okay, first off, are we really gonna skim past the fact that we just killed two people? Also, why has no one found the blue guy's body? Wait, shit! I just realized something. Nearside Django died here. Why did no one find his body yet? Remember Django, the first hitman? He fell to the bottom. Yes, but they are at the bottom with us. Remember? They were investigating Sissel's body. Oh, these motherfuckers are still alive, aren't they? Okay, so we haven't been killing them, apparently. Because oh, the only thing that kills people in this world, apparently, is bullets. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like you? How the hell is he alive from a giant ball? I don't fucking know, but no one has talked about Django's body. And it really makes me wonder. Do you get what I mean? If I could do things like you did, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. Huh? You are? Why? Because you're alive. Because your life could be saved even if you die again. I can save you with my ghost trick. Nobody can save my life, though. How? Oh. These powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answers to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm sorry. Well, you're free to do as you think now. I guess this is goodbye, Detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. <laughs> I mean, fair, but damn. Okay, got it! <laughs> no, Lynn, no! I was kidding! Well, guess we better be uh, getting back to the present. Imagine we go back to the present and she's like fucking dead again. <laughs> Lynn has escaped death for a second time. But that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. What if she's dead again? No. I don't know anymore. No. It's possible. Wait, my oh yeah, there it is. For some reason the camera moving button is the same button that I used to move around and it really throws me off. Also, how come no one has investigated this briefcase? I'm pretty sure it was with my bot with uh Sissel's body. How do we get that? Do we actually have to go the long way? Yeah! Holy shit! Okay, that worked a little too well, just gonna say. Not the way I was hoping. Okay, good. Barely reached it. Uh, where are the people examining my body? Well, looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key, don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the superior's office. 
she won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom of the crowd. I better go back to the superior's office to see her. That sounds like a good idea. I don't know why, with this build-up, it sounds like she's gonna be dead. But that, nah. I don't know. No, she can't be dead. That, that would just be... I don't know. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that will lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? She's dead, isn't she? Ah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to explore other stuff because there's definitely side things going on. When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder. But I saved her, hoping to solve my own murder. mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate, or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard, superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. Fool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight! Oh, she's... Oh, she ran. My apologies, sir! But I never th thought she would run away. Lynn is our angel, I mean friend. I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family, they all run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how much, how many years it's been since my wife ran? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> buddy, I don't think this is the place to vent that out. <laughs> Some of these people need therapy. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm very sorry, I had no idea, sir. <laughs> you ne you'll never make detective at this rate. Now find Lynn. Yes, sir. Did someone call my wife and ask her to come back? If Inspector Capanella gets word of this, it's all over. You know, at least she's not dead yet. It would have been hilarious if we go went back and she was dead. So a red-headed detective escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. <laughs> Fast. Well, I guess I'll look around for leads. She left her thing behind. But first... A chicken! Wait. Oh, fuck. I just remembered something. Isn't Lynn's roommate, sister, roommate supposed to be here? I don't see any customers hungry for chicken tonight. I hear singing coming from the kitchen. La la la, tonight I'm in love, in love with you and only you. My darling, this chicken, let me shower you with gifts of salt and pepper. He's not a bad singer, but I guess I better be going. I just remembered something. Isn't this supposed to be like, uh... Yeah, this is supposed to be the restaurant that Lynn is supposed to meet up with her roommate. Sister, right. What is their deal? Art. Let's go back to the troubled man's office. I don't know. I feel like we might miss certain things. Like, there ought to be keys or, like, side stuff we could do for the story. Buddy, it's been an hour. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Emma was right. Maybe it was a mistake. I was never born at all. But wait a minute. If I had never been born, Amelia wouldn't be here right now. Amelie. Em Emily? It's gone to the point where I don't know what my mistakes were. That defines a mistake anyways. If something isn't right, does that make it a mistake? I'm out of here. No, you're not. Come on, let's help this guy. Get him back to his surprisingly hot wife. Yeah, bye. Later, fucker. 
Don't ask why, but I decided, screw it, I'm gonna go back to everyone's place and see what's going on. Because I feel like there's more to it than just, oh yeah, you visited one. See, you get what I mean? She is still doing her thing. Looks like Novelis is still taken up with her prime uh, minister. The atmosphere is so thick in this room, it's enough to make your eyes smart. I think I better leave before the Derek stuff gets me. Is there really nothing else for me to do? I don't know, it just feels like this game is trying to hint that, like, the more you explore, the more you'll figure stuff out. You get what I mean? This line doesn't seem to be working. Because I can't go. Oh, right! Yeah, it's busted. This line. Guess I can't go there. Okay, that's actually weird and confusing. Let's go to the park! Listen, I get it. Lynn's on the run. Entrance to the nearly deserted park. The detective who was ordered by Captain Ellis to perform a stakeout is nowhere to be seen. Maybe he's in the restroom, or maybe he's shagging that guy from earlier. I wonder if that strange young man followed him in there. <laughs> I was joking, but you know what? Good for him. What's this? Fine, fine, we'll play the game, game. Seriously, it feels like, you know, like we're missing stuff, right? Like, it feels like if I go here now, like, no. Oh. I don't know why. Lynn, why didn't you grab this? Lynn's notebook, Sam forgot. This is behind the bookshelf. Who could she have been calling on the phone before she hid it there? I wish I could find out. Huh? Cleared a uh, curious soul. Unlocked the uh, curious soul. Oh. What? Can I see this curious soul? No? Okay. I don't have anything on this curious soul, got it. Okay, let's examine. That old pigeon man, do you suspect he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all this, uh, precious instru instruments and complicated devices. Yeah. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped through here, sir. Probably dead, sir. A garbage spot? Oh no. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know. Oh, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Um. Well, don't you know that women can make themselves appear something? Uh. <laughs> I'm not liking Green Guy right now because he's worrying me. <laughs> I feel like he'd be one of those guys, is all I'm saying. To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. Okay, buddy, go to a fucking therapist or something. Go outside. Touch some grass. What the fuck? I'm very sorry, sir. I had no idea, sir. <laughs> You'll never make a detective at this rate. Anyways, where is that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir? We went through uh, the door behind me. He went through the door behind me, sir. It's locked. It won't open. Like my wife. <laughs> Apparently that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. You tell him. <laughs> These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, yeah, sir.
Actually, there is a way for us to get there right now. Yeah. Oh, fuck. He was making fun of me. Curious what he'll do now. Wait a minute. Hey, could you grab that for us? I could swear I just saw this thing move. Don't tell me, could it be? I'm sensing the tension between me and detective and move. No. It sensed the tension between me and the detective and moved to get away from it? That was unexpected tangent. I'll never make detective event this rate. What I need is some kind of achievement, a feather in my cap. If only I could find a helpful lead that might do trick. Helpful and blindly, obviously, to staring you in the face right now. Look! There, go get your girl or whatever. I don't fucking know. Huh? This is Lynn's notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. I mean... You do you, man. Honestly, I don't care. What to do? What to do? This is a very complicated matter. Don't burn it! Wait, no shit! The fire! What have you got there? What this? Oh, um, this is, um... Wait a minute, is that... Yeah, sir, it's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh? Come to think of it. There was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. Give me that. This must be it. The cell phone number with the big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? I am. I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh, but I don't have any ulterior motives for wanting to know, though, sir. No, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. I better check it out. I was actually kind of hoping that I'm, uh... This detective... I mean, this cop guy would be our lead instead of this asshole. <laughs> you can't trust her, women. Look at my wife. At least they didn't drop it in the fire like I was expecting. Okay. Damn it. Well, let's see the number. Hello! To whom am I speak? AK, please. Yes, hello. Hey, yo. Why is this guy arched? <laughs> hey, yo. This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Yes, I know that for. Is that you, Detective McCock? Oh, wait. Is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Oh, uh, did you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier? From Lynn? Yes, I did. She called her. She calls every night. Maybe she sensed it's about to happen. Uh, did she say anything special? No, not really. Is something wrong? Yes, well, <laughs> I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Seriously, why he arched, or is that a she? I don't know, actually. KMR. I'm not doing all that name. I'm going to file the report down at the station. I need you to be the bitch here. Excuse me, detective, but... What is it? He a baddie. That notebook. Would you mind if I gave... Um, never mind, sir. Am I weirdly rooting for some random guy right now? <laughs> Just stay on your toes. Am I the only one kind of weirdly rooting for this guy? It's weird, but a part of me wants to root for him. I don't know why. Let's also say for a moment. Kind of curious. Hey, yo, they're all kind of... <laughs> hey, yo, why are they all kind of swole? What was that call all about? I heard you say Lin. Seriously, why he arched that way? <laughs> Seriously. I don't really know if I had to take a guess, though. It would probably say something's going on with her. 
Yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, damn. What the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> Hey, yo, I love it when they arch it back. <laughs> Seriously, why is he posed that way? He, right? Why is he posed that way? He has no need. He has no need. The only place in the world where, where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Ah! Oh, wow. Okay, so he's Metaton. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. Smartest cops here. <laughs> Are they cops? They could be security. That was my way of expressing indignation. Putting it in the form of a question. Seriously, why you gotta arch it? <laughs> I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know. According to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. So, let's see. This is a place Lynn uh, took all the all that risk to call, eh? But what exactly is this place? Honestly, it looks like a detect. Well, not a detective. Seriously, got. <laughs> Damn. Hey yo, this game's about to make me act up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, why did I? Yeah. What's this? <laughs> oh, that. I wrote down my duties for the night, so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head. It's not like you have a ton of duties, after all. Use a little brain power. Oh. What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Eh. Yeah. Didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. First off, goblin. <laughs> what the fuck? Fancy ass word. So let's see. This is important to do. List of yours. 9 a.m. Take prisoner. Oh, they work in the jail cells. Take prisoner C38 uh, to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the telephone a little while ago. 9 a.m. No, 9 o'clock, eh? That's what Lynn usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Who the fuck is him? If I was a prisoner, bro, I'd be catching a different kind of case. <laughs> okay, first off, cookie, keep it in your fucking pants. Secondly, I kind of relate. Listen, I'm no better, but I'm also trying to keep it, like, calm. But, like, seriously, what the hell is with the way he's designed? It literally is like, I don't know, uh, what's that one comic from the 80s that's very much, you know? It's like that. Ah, poor Lynn. Sure wish I could comfort her. <laughs> oh well. Oh! What do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo! That's okay, I got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you uh, you do your job when the time comes. Ugh. I'm saying it's... God. God damn. Speaking of the different cases, you heard about that guy who literally flew through... Uh... Uh, past his judge's desk just to beat the fuck out of the judge. What's this? That video is so wild. Yeah. What's this too? Holy shit! Is that a... That's a huge jump. Like, that's a huge jump. First off. Secondly, why are they armed? There you go again, fooling around with that thing. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. They're literally your prison guards. Yeah. But like, do they need a bazooka? Don't lie. I, you know you love to see me jump up and prepare for emergencies. 
Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got this job, but I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. <laughs> the emergency switch is probably just a boost. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergency, so play with me! Yeah, anyways, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Back to my cards. Okay, we'll close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Eh, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you. What a sad, sad state of affairs. Night vision goggles. What the fuck? Bazooka. Prison guards. Your words, not mine. Prison guards. <sighs> what the fuck? Okay, I just, I'm just trying right now to wrap my fucking head around. Why? A bazooka. Maybe it's a high security prison. I don't know. What are they holding? Jack the Ripper? Also, I'm also trying to personally figure out which path to go without making myself look dumb. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I was hoping. I should. Okay. Uh. No. Damn it! Calling. Lynn! Hello? Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please, let me talk to him. I'm sorry, Detective. I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved, that's why. Uh oh. By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Oh. Really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey, do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight. Well, I, uh... Oh. Well, I gotta go. I'll call again tomorrow. Damn. I'm sorry, I'm dead. Okay. Well, we at least know where Lynn is. There's a few places I want to visit first. Oh boy, well I guess I better call the detective division. Hey. Hold on there, Bailey. W what? Don't tell me you're gonna report when you report that call from Lynn. Well, what else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. And then I can wad wa it up for you and throw it away. Oh. You mean, you want me to keep quiet about it? You know what? It's actually kind of nice that Lynn has some people on her side. Her two weirdly buff best friends. Well, is that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but tonight is kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special exception for my Lynn, too? Ugh. The others refer to her as family, so she must be well known among yeah, but like it's nice to have people who aren't just trying to act treat her like a suspect right away, is what I'm saying. Uh, huh? A special case, huh? Alright, you win. I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line. I better hurry. not gonna write it down? Seriously, my Seriously, my friend, why you gotta arch it back like that? Make me act up. Uh, Superior's office. I wanna first see something before we continue. 
Yeah, I know. It's probably one of those situations where you don't actually need to go back unless you want to learn more about the store. That cop looks miserable. He looks just like a drenched and dejected kid in the rain. I think he's there starting to rub off on me. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Him, me too, honestly. I'm starting to weirdly really like this detective. Blondie. Tonight in this town, on this planet, in this galaxy, in this cosmos. Is there any other man as miserable as me? My goal was to be a police officer, as shining and as bright as a newly minted coin. But now I have to find another thing. I know, I'll be a newly minted coin as shining and bright as a police officer. Yes, yes, that's a better goal for you, I think. It, it is, isn't it? Well, I'll say this, but it's nice to have a goal. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? Do I need to shine some light on you? Not much we can do here, and now I'm very confused on what's going on. And I feel like things are happening, so, like, one last paranoia trip. I'm just curious, bro. I feel like things are gonna happen. Um, for all we know, we probably missed some important stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, just, just bear with me, just bear with me, just bear with me. How you doing? Even as I sit here, time is ticking away. I don't know what he's feeling right now. I bet he hates me, huh? Oh, if only I could uh, blow up and scatter to a million pieces. Maybe he ought to think of a more peaceful Wait, he? Who's he? Let me just check one more thing and then I'll call and then I'll stop fucking around. Park. The entrance to the sad the voice of a young man drifts over to me and whispers in the breeze. I suddenly feel so all alone. Yeah, he was a pain in the neck, but now that he's gone. Almost like I've been abandoned by the gods. He is a complicated young man. They were fucking. They were fucking. They were fucking. I didn't see him because they were in the bathroom fucking. Yeah, not much I can do. That taking place is gonna, is gonna come through for me, isn't it? I feel weirdly like it's gonna get to one point where it's like you gotta figure it out on your own where to go. And that's why they're unlocking all these places for me. Lynn! <laughs> Don't even last five fucking minutes. Wait, why are you just walking around? Oh no, not detective guy finding him, her. Lynn! Oh, well, why couldn't it have, why couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use as a detective. Police officer, I should have been. It should have been me. Looks like she's dead. We better not touch it. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? Oh, so she was shot. Hey, uh, excuse me, Mister. You're talking to me. This room. There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? Watch, well, yeah, I see one. Uh, then how did? We must have one of those mysterious locked rooms murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murderer vanished into thin air in a vacuum. You gotta find a real detective. No, just go find a real detective. I keep watch over here. Yes, sir. Oh, she probably did use the shoe. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, eh? <sighs> Things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. 
Also, Lin, get a fu- <laughs> Three times? Three times now? <laughs> I died again! <laughs> Same, bro. <laughs> Lynn's a very lovable character, but also it's like a. Uh... Give me a second. Weirdly, fittingly, this reminds me a lot of um, uh, Maya. You know, like how Maya would be accused of murder every other day. And Phoenix just had to bail her ass out each time. It feels like that in a weird way. I don't know. I thought you'd be a little more gr or grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary that scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. Yeah, I agree. So, what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? Why are you asking me for it? <laughs> so, so, you know what? I don't think this is worth it anymore. Just disappear. Oh boy, I guess I'll ha just have to go find out for myself. Okay, you just go do that. Hurry along now. <laughs> don't be snappy. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, looks like it's time to go back. Go back to four minutes before your death. You know, last question. It's kind of interesting to me. Specifically, they chose number four. Is there, like, a certain cultural thing about that? Because, like, I don't know. I feel like the default thing would be one minute or five minutes. Because, you know, a lot can happen. Four is death in Japan. Oh, okay. Fair. Yeah, that makes sense. Still. Let's see what happens. It's why Mista is scared of number four. <sighs> Wait, did he kill you? How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in the darkness. Maybe it was just that. The time wasn't right. Wait, no, wrong voice. But well, why are you sk Why are you monka? Oh, so she did use the elevator. Okay, cool. Look what you know, our little cop guy was right. Whee! This answers nothing, by the way. But we gotta investigate who he's calling. But not a word. He hung up. Oh! Also, kind of like their movements. It's so animated. Wow. What? Wait. What? Are you, Lin? 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 That's a murder. I think that was just... She literally stared at it. <laughs> You're not being the no brain cells allegation. Lynn!
That's the truth behind our locked room murder, eh? That's the murderer! Was a mechanical murder machine! Murder machine. When I come into... When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the word murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could be the reason behind this weird room? Anyways, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. Len, are you even worth saving anymore? I mean that in the nicest way possible, because I swear to god, maybe you could have moved to fucking feet Len Exactly! I don't know, maybe you could have just stepped to the right! Or not- Oh my- <clears throat> This woman is giving me a brain aneurysm. You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murderer isn't mechanical. He has a point, I can't ma I can't manipulate what you think. But I can't manipulate this machine now. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. It looks like the key is to solving this one, is understanding this machine. since I locked this room up in darkness. Why do you have this room set up this way? Give me a second. Sorry about that. Anyways. Yeah, but seriously. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I locked this room up in darkness. I once thought the truth could be discovered in the darkness. What truth? Maybe it was just that time wasn't right. Okay, but why? There's not much I can actually connect to. Is this gonna be something weird where I gotta go all the way up just to go set down? Yeah, I think so. How'd you manage to cramp yourself into that tiny elevator? I always liked small cramped places. <laughs> okay. Whenever I see a small hole or crevice, I always feel like climbing it, crawling in. Lynn, you are a very unique specimen, is all I'm gonna say. The place I feel most at home is the space between my bed and the wall. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can understand that. Ah, we're, ah, we're birds in a. We're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. I'm dead. Also, a little uh, hilarious how she was right underneath her noses that whole time. I'm working on it. Oh, um, is this, uh, the superintendent? I'm so glad, I thought I was all alone. Eh, nah, fuck you. Go there. First things first, I'm gonna make him look cooler. For Lynn. I mean, I'm dead anyway, so I can't even be the romance op. I mean, so Sissel can't be the romance op. He hung up. Now! Oh shit, he was about to say something.
then ran away. The detective yelled at me. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles! That's gratitude for you! We were just trying to warm him with uh, the kettle... kettle whistle. Could he have preferred getting scolded by the steam? Well, at least his fate has changed, was changed a bit. That's good anyways. Oh, okay. I actually don't know what he was gonna say now, and I wish I didn't jump to conclusions. Lynn, don't turn on the light! What do I do? That was a good time situation, by the way. Sorry, Lynn. I'm not smart. Hey, you ever thought about just moving to the left? <laughs> no. Key to this murder mystery. Is that cheeky little Cupid who fired the arrow? But wait a minute. That swinging shovel. I wonder if uh, that could be used as a weapon somehow against our Mr. Cupid. Okay, so I have to work on time and got it. I re I'm really rooting for this guy. I don't know why. I literally have no reason to either. There it goes! The murder machine has started! And if the whole thing plays out, that gun goes off. Oh, that gun on the wall will go off, and you won't fucking move away! But before that happens, it's up to me to use my kill streak. There must be some way to disrupt this domino effect. You just have to find it. Here it goes. No oh, fuck. Maybe I'm actually... We're gonna be here for a while. Is all I'm gonna say. Lynn, stop turning on the fuck. I have a weird idea. Come on! Hey! That's a pretty good... Hey, that was pretty good just now. Maybe if it were on the... No. Maybe if we were on a pudding green. Well, with a swing like that, maybe we could put it to some good use here. Good thinking. This might uh, be able to use this trick to If I could change the path of all takes, that's great and all, but it looks like we're all out of time for this. How? Okay, there's definitely something I'm missing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank god they gave me infinite tries, because my dumb ass would not be able to. <laughs> okay, so there's death. Maybe if I hit the ball in just the right angle, it could probably pierce the Cupid arrow?
What just happened? <laughs> Happy birthday! Yeah, it looks like your future just got a whole lot uh, rosier. Your death has been erased again. I, uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died! I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit, anyways. Hmm. What could this room be all about? I can't remember. I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end. Those were party prop uh, poppers, weren't they? Party poppers. I have no recollection of what they are. But that's also. Right. Sissel, how much are you missing? The party poppers, the gun, gun going off, seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Wait, are you telling me that we were killed by our own murder machine? Well, shall we go back now? Back to your new present? What are you doing waiting here? Uh, Alright. What was the point of the crane? Cecil, are you there? What? It's talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl who's talking to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl. Whether you talk to yourself or not. Oh wait, he's saying something. What are you doing there? That's, take, that's taking so long. Look, kid, I want to make I, my tea. Uh, please don't talk to me right now. Adjusting the stove is a really delicate business. Ah. If I turn the knob left, the flame gets smaller. If I turn the turn it right, it gets bigger. <laughs> In just another minute, I'll have them adjusted just right. I wish you had a knob on your head. I'd adjust you just right. Oh boy, this could take a while. But besides, I can't leave Lynn behind. She said she wants to talk to me. Maybe I better go see you. Knows, maybe she'll thank me. Maybe she'll actually tell me some shit. You are here! I knew it! I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. You invited me! Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet fit. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There! That tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad! So, uh, did you have something? particular you wanted to say to me? All right. I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now, a murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case all by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case. Some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyways, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at li liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her a few things. About the one who shot me. <coughs> you have your life and your memories back now. So, let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the person you on your mind. What else could it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. You weren't there, were you? Not clear. I mean, with you tonight. And then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot, maybe from somewhere far away? Tango took me out! So you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry, I wish I could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I want... I want the information you had for me. So why would I shoot uh, you before I got it? Information, huh? What about information I had for her? Uh, 
Hey, so about the girl with the bow. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How'd you know about her? Uh, there was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. Wasn't Django the one there here, though, not Tango while he fucked until he fucked up? Yes. But if we, it couldn't be... Okay, here's the thing. It couldn't be nearsighted... Oh, God, I just realized they all have... Uh, they're all just one letter change. Anyways, the thing about Django is... We're, don't forget, he's nearsighted Django. He can't see far away. So he wouldn't have taken a shot from far away. Also, someone would have had to have either stolen Lin's gun and used it, or... I don't know. But yeah, it's most likely not Django. Django was probably there, sent there to clean up the aftermath. They probably had a different plan for how to deal with me. Like I said, Django was probably ready to... Don't forget, they have many hitmen, and as we learned from Tango, some of them might be going a little out in order to get the job done. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. An incident? What kind of incident? Don't worry about it. What happened? Is Camille alright? She's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my! What in the world is going on? Why would anyone want to hurt Camille and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? Yeah, I don't know who they are. I saw them. The people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target. Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains it pours. Isn't it time you admit you need me? Need my power? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Why? Yes, you saved my life tonight. Three times! I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I can't, I still can't trust you. I'm a con man, aren't I? That's too bad. Okay, let me guess, I'm a con man. So, information. So I had some information, important information that you wanted, huh? That's right, you called the station yesterday. You asked to talk to me. You told me that you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, huh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it? Even given how fishy it sounded? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Let me guess, statue of, limita statue of limitations for the case? Yeah, that's right, you said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Am I really a con man? Is that why she's refusing to cooperate? Oh boy. But I guess I understand. That's it. For now. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah. What was it? The chicken kitchen? The dead end dr at on dead end drive, right? Yep. What about you, Sissel? What are you going to do? I don't know. To tell you the truth. You're the only lead if you you're my only lead. If you leave. I just realized you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anyone to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if uh, we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea, you're on. But can I ask you to do a favor for me first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. I actually already know where to go. <coughs> prison. That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule for a prisoner? Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard. Oh, okay. His prisoner number is D99. 
you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Yeah, the person that they were talking about before was CA3, so that's uh, someone else. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're wrong. Yay! Okay, see you later. See you. But don't die again if you can help it. No promises! <laughs> Looks like I hold the key to the case when is investigating. She holds the key to solve the mystery of me. So we started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an ass assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for Chris or D99. I better get to the prison. We have enough time for a little while longer. Yeah. Hey, a new illustration of Lynn. Can we get an illustration of, uh, Bailey? Please? Please? For me? Lost memories of self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the, the dead guy a case. To sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I... What? Should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the end of the moment. Eh... Uh, a deal's a deal. Oh, okay, so that's how we get back up. What's up? <coughs> it's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun ran, ran away on me. And then those detectives, matching bookend blue and green, yelled at me. Ah, forget all about that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun, Lynn. Probably doesn't even know you exist. Sadly true. And those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what that you can out of it. You want know, honestly? Good advice, man. Mister? Would you mind just leaving me alone? I wonder how that detective who keeps dying is doing. Hope she's still alive. I bet she's pretty pleased with herself. Keeping so much of her reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her, uh, her at the chicken kitchen. Jesus fuck, what the fuck happened? I sometimes freeze and I don't know why. After I take care of this sign, I'm in. I better head there too. Nice some light on you, buddy. You need it. Also, I'm curious about some stuff. Anything change, runner? Nope. Okay, fine. Well, first things first, we gotta go visit our favorite place. We always gotta check up on our man. We gotta just keep checking up on him. Yo, know, I just thought about something really fucked up. <laughs> and I hope it never actually happens. Yeah, we still can't do shit. Okay. One day we'll do something around here. But that day's not today. Anyways, I'm not gonna tell you guys about the fucked up thing because that it's a little too dark even for me. But all I'm saying is he's a very troubled man. And sometimes an entrance to him by the sad voice of a young man drifts over to me. He's still there? I have to use the bathroom. But if I leave my post, I just know I'll miss something. And think of it. That annoying leaf the guy disappeared when I used the restroom earlier. Darn it, it's almost time. Which will, which will show up up first, my mark for the end of my ability to hold out. Who is your mark? Damn it! Can we loosen it? Giving me all these abilities to mess around with the uh, stuff again, you don't need to it. Last person we gotta check up on, we always gotta check up on this guy. We technically shouldn't go through the chicken place yet, right? 
Should we? No. Kids still asleep. You're still typing. The passion typing continues. She wears her fingers away as she spins her table tail club table. <laughs> Good luck, Mama. Oh, they're getting together. She's a sharp-tongued little girl, but she still supports her mother's dreams. And please get out of that business as quickly as possible. I guess not. We need to fix this family for everyone's sake. Yeah, no, nothing. Okay. Just want to check something. Yeah, I know I'm wasting time, but I'm curious. Why would they allow us to keep going back and forth unless there was something? You get what I mean? Like an Ace Attorney case, where like... Why the fuck is Camilla not here? I don't see any customers, including their love for chicken tonight. I hear singing coming from the kitchen. I love, I love you right down to the marrow of your bones. But your marrow is nothing compared to your glorious meat. La la la. He's not a bad singer. I guess Lynn isn't here yet. I have a job to do. Better get to it. Fine, I get it. There's no point doing all the other stuff yet. But I just feel like there's something. Or is it really just us exploring side hobbies and mission? Actually, what's happening in the junkyard? Yeah, I know. I'm wasting time for junkyard. Yeah, it's Oh, hey, my body's gone. Ah, welcome back. How's it going? Have you solved all the mi of your mysteries? Can't you tell by my face? I did see your face, but I axed anyways. Smart Alec, me fucking light fixture. The lady detective and I decided to join board. She and I are connected somehow. I just know it. Oh, that's fine news. So I'm onto something. Look at him wiggling happily. Tonight, you and she both suffer misfortune. But if you combine her bad luck and yours, it makes great good fortune. Just remember that. I don't know, by my math, bad luck plus bad luck equals a whole lot of bad luck. You should check your figures. To myself. Okay, let's go to our favorite place of all time. Hi, Mr. Bailey. <laughs> Damn. So how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, man, I'm not looking forward to this. What kind of surprise? That kind of surprises me, coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Nice. He even has detail on his ass! Okay. <laughs> the atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work and go. Find out who... No, I want you to find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. Prisoner number is D99. Alright then. How do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Green shows rows of tiny rooms. These rooms are really, really small, and you can see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keep the room airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. Wonder where these little rooms are. Man! I'll let loose this one. This one actually it seems more now. Well, well, well. 
I have here? Bailey? Hey, Bailey. Yes. Wait, no, no, shit, I forgot what the fuck. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly. Let me see this thing. Take prisoners to see E3A to a telephone group. Yes, he just made a request. Oh, wait, oh, fuck. He already told me that earlier. C3A, eh? What did that punk do anyways? You never heard of the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a, a concert that was being broadcast all over the country's life. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it? A murder or something? In a way, it, <coughs> it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? Just national secret? A rock band? I'm lost. Did they really pull like a Johnny Silverhand situation? The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics Siri 38 was singing were completely different from the usual. So how is that a huge incident? He leaked government information through a song, which to be fair nowadays is nothing new. You could literally leak governmental information through um, MMO game and no one would bat an eye. Because the new lyrics exposed all the na nation's dark, seamy uh, secrets. Budget misappropriations, uh, foreign economic structures, illi illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves through the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know any top secrets information? Epstein. He pro <laughs> That's a dope joke here. Yeah. It's a complete mystery. <clears throat> okay, so I'm get betting this blue organization is probably behind that. And they're now trying to cover up cases from this old case. I mean, the tracks from this old case. Am I in the ballpark? What? Why don't they just ask 3C38 himself? He ripped out his vocal cord. Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hmm. Why'd you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Let me guess this one as well. Hey, Bailey. Wait, 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 just in case. Try pinning up your own memos a little better next time. Let me see this. Inspect, inspection prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C74, eh? What did that big whale do anyways? You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who what? C74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the pa of the place. Oh, fuck. That's actually very extreme. He went po He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commission. Holy... Motherfucker went payday? That's some shit I see in payday. What the fuck? Oh, you don't have to worry about this case. It's just literally something straight out of a fucking... Ah, fuck my neck. So, he even pointed a huge flamethrower at the chief commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detective who surrounded him asked, too. What are your demands, they asked, and The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Curry and rice, that's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the... Oh my god. Oh, I know, the commissioner's office. 
with the flamethrower. Tossed it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. I feel like this might connect to the other case, and I feel like this might connect to the organization in some way, but I don't know how. I mean, other than, like, you know, like, the documents that were destroyed were for the safety of this organization. And were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy, and I just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case went sent shockwaves throughout the country, but it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armed guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C7 for himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter. Yeah, the fact that there's national secrecy feels like they're connected. Okay, here's my theory now. The rock star who released the documents might have some... It, okay, we also need to figure out real quickly the other guy before we jump to conclusions. But my theory right now is that the rock star got the information from the commissioner's office and then hired another guy to torch all the evidence so no one can directly connect him to that. And then he went on live TV to expose the country for all its secrets. And somehow, this is going to connect back to the Blue Men Crew. I'm just calling them the Blue Men Crew until I know their actual name. Hm. Whatever. Have fun. Oh. Would you st quit throwing my important duty memos away? Nah. They fuck behind bars, don't they? I mean... They fucked, don't they? Just calling it out. Okay. Fuck, there's another one! Before you say it, it wasn't me. Just the kind of excitement I need to wake me up. Well, I told you it's only for emergencies. Don't play with it! And I told you it wasn't me. You know, I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which is my real job, going on rounds or building houses out of cards. Well, you, well you'd well, better know. And you ought to know that I'm just kidding. What uh. if? Last one. Maybe we'll get the answer we're looking for. Hey, Bailey. Let's see this thing. Bring dinner to prison. That's him! D99. The chief. The chef is preparing it for him right now. Oh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Okay, finally. Yeah? Just such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife. Wow. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive, everything. All a complete mystery. Just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense what he that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. What the fuck is happening? I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. They're aggressive about this. You don't know what kind of prisoner this is, don't you? No, you do know what kind of prisoner this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99, who knows what he's thinking, or hiding behind that beard of his beard. I don't lack any of it. I knew I couldn't and take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, and he's apparently has a beard. 
Oh. Would you quit throwing my important document memos away? Yeah, it's time. Oh. Hey, it's the rocker guy. This is the guy who leaked government information? You know what? That makes a lot more sense now, actually. Wait, what the fuck? Nice. <laughs> There's the... There's two of them? Nah, that guy is not nearly as arch. Yeah, you're right. I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The one who sang the National Secret. If he's a prisoner, he must come from themselves. Fuck. Examine. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for the spiky-haired youth to express himself. Of course I was a kid who leaked government information's sentiments like I'm hungry and I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. Yeah? Peace out. No! I'm done. Alright, C3, back to your stuff. Hey guard, man. How about giving me a little space? That's crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a proper lead, lead life now. Let's go. Yo, no lecturing, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. Am I recording? Oh, right, that's why I'm here. There he is! What the fuck? What the fuck? That's a One Piece ass character if I've ever seen. Wait, let me check if I got the... Oh, yeah, I am recording. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm not even excited. Okay. Okay. So, no. So I finally made it to the cell. Now to find the prisoner, D99, and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lynn possibly want with that in information? That's his dad. That's her dad, isn't it? Damn! Don't think I can take another second in this stinking pit. You have so much. Looks like Garman is gone. All this weighing is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. This is crazy freedom for prison. Also, didn't they say it was supposed to be narrow as fuck? Come on, sausage head! Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. One of those oh, little blackboards Lynn said would be himself. Maybe I should check out Spiky's schedule for tomorrow. Okay. This is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight, I lost a lot of things in my life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost, too. I can't read. This whole time? 
Hasn't he read stuff earlier, though? I thought so, too, when he opened the book or something. No, people read it for a... Oh, my God. So it's not Blake, is it? It's just us. Yeah, that's fair. I can't see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. But I have absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? What am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me. Uh, again, but actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Anyways, I might as well try to find D99's cell. Hopefully, I'll, I'll at least be able to find out uh, something wrong here. I can't go back to Lynn empty-handed. But of course, a ghost doesn't actually that me. Stop with the technicalities! Hey, a phone! The telephone. Looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with the telephone are other phones within the building that I've already put that. Damn it. What's up, I'm Jared, I'm 19, and I learned, never learned how to fucking read. Empty cell. Fuck it. An emergency button. An emergency in a prison, that's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Go, go, go! That caused quite an uproar, I guess. I bet each prisoner reacted differently to the alarm. Might be fun to watch. Let's see, if I want to change the... Okay, maybe their behaviors will give me a clue about my next step. He's calm? He's trying to act cool. There he is! What the fuck? He's trying to hide something. The fuck am I looking at? All clear! Wait, no shit, I should've- uh... Maybe I can use their movements to get around by itself. That way I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. What happens if I go with the flush? Oh! What is that? I don't want to be mean. Hey, it's a cone head. If I ring the bell while he's in there, I can't go over there anyway. Yeah. Sure. 
My real question is, what the hell is that machine that they apparently have locked in on? And how long does it take for this guy to get out? Oh! Oh, there he is! Hi, buddy. Can you go upstairs now? I don't know how to... Seriously, how do I get him back out? There we go. What is this? Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal pump. Well, at least now I can teleport. Looks like the curry lover came back when there's well. You can't make heads or tails out of behavior once that he gets back though. This prisoner isn't the one I'm looking for. I'll just chalk this guy up to it takes all kinds. Better try to find the patch D99. Like this. Wow. He's not bad looking. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside. He seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in the Asari. So that means this uh, man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guard said. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. He's got to be Lin's dad, is he? What in the world really happened? Why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answer, and I guess there's no need for me to know. How are we going to get the... I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. I wonder if these are uh, family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of hatred or out of or some other mission? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. News article. A newspaper article has been cut out of frame. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about D99's case, man murders wife. There's a picture of an alleged culprit in the article. Yup, it's this prisoner, alright. So, the work schedule for tomorrow for prisoner D99. The information plans look for should be written on the blackboard. Fortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyways. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? There's nothing written on the blackboard at all? I think something was written on the blackboard. I think something was written on the blackboard of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung here. Something's happening. So I have the answer when we look at tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is nothing. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know for, or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyways. Is Bro gonna take the shortcut? I think he's gonna get executed tomorrow. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was gonna turn out. Some things in this world can't be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule is for tomorrow's blank. Better get this information to Lynn as fast as I can. Let me just at least escape the prison and then I'll, uh... D99! Dinner! What a feast tonight, I see.
Huh. I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree, it's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken, and has been forgot by everyone. By something. Detective Wu Jot. Now, now then. Wait, he was a detective? Oh god, I was right, this is Lin's dad. Let me eat him piece before it gets too cold to cook. Is that going to be a picture of Lin? There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who is the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know. So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Huh? Wait, what? That's... Yeah! Oh god, we were there. We were probably there. Are we, did we kill whoever his wife was? I'm starting to think we're the murderer. Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. What in the world? What in the world could this be? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Exactly, is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Lynn fast, and not for her sake, for mine. To solve this mystery of me, something is really wrong. What happens if I open this thing? Head, and this is headquarters. What's the sass over there? Oh, Chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. And how much longer? Sir? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on then. And one more thing Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak to you. Hello, baby. But the nice I fat odd always come running. Evening, Cabanella here. How you doing? How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella? Fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you, from my baby? From Lynn? Oh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fella. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it. Very, very. I don't know if we can trust him anymore. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir. Immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive, I'm from. Yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. Yeah. Nice. Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. Call for from police headquarters that intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now that the white suit inspector is expecting to and she's being considered a fugitive, it's not good. I wonder if I should go check in on the chief and inspector of white too. I would love to! But I'm fucking exhausted! 
I forgot how long these types of games all can be. For the love of God, the last case in Ace Attorney in the third Ace Attorney game can take up to five hours, even with you knowing the info. Good stream, good stream. Return the title, and yeah, that's gonna end today's. Uh, that's gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for lollygagging a lot, but honestly, it's really fun, and honestly, I want to learn more about these characters, even the small ones. So, see you guys next time. Hey YouTube, thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video, leave a like, and if you didn't, leave this life. Just kidding! Subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment below to suggest what I do next. Also, check out my Twitch and TikTok at Modwolf for more gaming content. See you soon!